Hey there, welcome back to another exciting video. Today we're diving deep into engine code P0002, the fuel volume regulator control circuit range performance. By the end of this video, you'll be a pro at understanding what P0002 is all about, recognizing its symptoms, pinpointing its causes, and mastering the art of diagnosing and fixing it. So buckle up and let's get started. So what exactly does the engine code P0002 mean? Well, P0002 indicates a problem with the fuel volume regulator control circuit, specifically when the circuit is operating outside the expected range or experiencing performance problems. This code is commonly found in vehicles equipped with electronic fuel injection systems. Technically, you can keep driving with the P0002 code showing up. But here's the thing, it's not the smartest move. While you might be able to get away with it for a little while, it's like playing with fire. Ignoring the issue could potentially lead to damage to the fuel control circuit or even cause more serious problems down the line. So while you technically can keep driving, it's highly recommended to address the issue pronto to prevent any further damage. Let's dive into the symptoms of a sneaky little trouble code, P0002. This code might be tiny, but trust me, it can cause some serious headaches under the hood. So let's break it down one symptom at a time. All right, let's start with number one. Check engine light illuminated. You know that little warning light on your dashboard that looks like an engine? Yep, that's the one we're talking about. When it decides to light up, it's like your car's way of saying, hey, something's not quite right here. And if you've got a persistent P0002 code hanging around, that check engine light might just make an appearance. Now on to number two. Engine performance may take a hit, causing rough running or hesitation. Here's the scoop. When that P0002 code kicks in, the engine control module might not get all the sensor data it needs from the fuel regulator control circuit. And you know what happens then? Your engine might start feeling a bit under the weather like it's struggling to find its rhythm. This can lead to rough running or hesitation, putting a damper on your driving experience. Number three, visible exhaust emissions. Yep, we're talking about visible exhaust emissions. When your car is dealing with a P0002 code, it can mess with the air-fuel mixture, causing it to go lean or rich. And when that happens, you might start seeing visible smoke coming from your tailpipe. In number four, we're talking about engine stalling. When your car is grappling with a P0002 code, it can cause intermittent stalling episodes. It's like your engine's playing a game of hide and seek with its power source. Number five, no start condition. When your car is grappling with a P0002 code, it can disrupt the fuel supply to your engine, leaving you high and dry with a car that just won't start. Let's talk about number six, lack of power. Ever feel like your car's lost its mojo, especially when you're trying to kick it into high gear? Well, that could be because of the P0002 code. When this code rears its ugly head, it messes with the fuel volume regulator control circuit, which in turn affects how much fuel gets to your engine. And when your engine isn't getting the fuel it needs, you'll feel it in the form of sluggish acceleration and an overall lack of power. Number seven, do you ever feel like you're spending more time at the gas pump than you used to? Well, that could be because of the P0002 code. When this code creeps into your engine system, it messes with the way your car regulates fuel volume. And when your car can't regulate fuel properly, you end up with inefficient fuel consumption. So what's the deal with the engine code P0002? Well, when your car throws a P0002, it's basically saying there's a glitch in the fuel volume regulator control circuit. Now, there are a few things that could be causing this. We're talking electrical problems, faulty fuel regulators, and even issues with the fuel pump. Let's break it down one by one. First up, we've got electrical wire issues. This covers a range of problems like dodgy connections in electrical connectors, wires that are frayed or broken, blown fuses losing the ground, switches that have gone haywire, relays that have seen better days, or even issues with wires that were repaired in the past. Basically, anything that messes with the flow of electricity through the wiring system can set off the P0002 code. Number two, faulty fuel volume regulator. You see, the fuel volume regulator is responsible for keeping your fuel pressure and flow in check. But if it's defective or just plain malfunctioning, well, you can bet it's going to cause all sorts of irregularities. And that includes triggering the pesky P0002 code. And coming in at number three, failed fuel pump. 
The fuel pump's job is to make sure your engine gets the right amount of fuel at the right pressure, but if it's on the fritz and not doing its job properly, well, you guessed it, it can lead to all sorts of problems, including triggering that pesky P0002 code. Now how to diagnose and fix the P0002 code? When it comes to diagnosing and fixing the P0002 code, it's all about pinpointing issues with the fuel volume regulator control circuit. Diagnosing the P0002 code typically requires specialized diagnostic tools and equipment. However, there are some methods you can try yourself to diagnose and potentially fix the issue. The first method involves thoroughly scanning for any additional codes. In this method, the diagnostic process involves looking for any additional diagnostic trouble codes that may be present. These additional codes could offer valuable clues about related issues that could be contributing to the P0002 code. To address this issue, it's important to tackle any other codes that are present, as resolving these may also resolve the P0002 code. The second method entails thoroughly inspecting for any issues in the fuel regulator circuit. In this method, the diagnosis involves inspecting the electrical wiring related to the fuel regulator circuit for any signs of damage, such as frayed wires, loose connections, or corroded terminals. Additionally, check the fuses and relays related to the fuel pump circuit. If any issues are found, replace any damaged wiring, tighten loose connections, and replace any blown fuses or faulty relays. In this process, if the P0002 code is suspected to be caused by a faulty fuel pump, inspect for any signs of a bad fuel pump. To diagnose the issue, check the fuel pump for any signs of malfunction, such as unusual noises, lack of fuel pressure, or leaks. If the fuel pump is found to be faulty, it may need to be replaced. Ensure that the fuel filter is not clogged, as a restricted fuel filter can mimic symptoms of a faulty fuel pump. Finally, to prevent the occurrence of the P0002 code, it's important to implement routine maintenance and take proper care of the fuel system. Here are some preventative measures. Use reputable fuel sources and avoid contaminated or low quality fuel that could potentially damage the fuel system components. Periodically inspect the fuel lines, connections, and components for signs of wear, leaks, or damage. Clean any debris or buildup that may accumulate in the fuel system Ensure the fuse box and associated electrical components are regularly inspected and maintained. Clean any corrosion or buildup that may affect electrical connections and function.